Rose Ailes. Well, hello, good afternoon, hello, welcome to Andy Does Ailes, another promising beer review from the beer buffoon himself. It is I, Andy, host of Andy Does Ailes, with my loving partner, Vicky, who's around somewhere. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to sit and look at you for a few minutes. All right, you just carry on. <laughs> All right. One of the best bitters that I had, was it last year? Could have been. Was from Stroud Brewery. And it was absolutely wonderful. Um, old, old, oh, old, the name's just gone, that old Tom or something. It was lovely. It was lovely. I've done a review on it. It's down there somewhere. Um, yeah, I can see it right down the bottom. Uh, what they've done is they've come up with um, a collaboration with a local brewery. How about that? I mean, they're Stroud. They're all the way down there. And the brewery that I'm on about is all the way up here. Brilliant. And this is a collaboration between Stroud Brewery and Anter Beer Co., which is in Talgarth, or yeah, just near Talgarth, uh, Hay on Wye way. And this is a top of the box. It's an organic Hell's Bock. It's a foreign language, isn't it? it really is. Uh, it's probably German somewhere along the way. Uh, it's a limited edition. I don't know where I got it from, but it was it were a fiver. Flipping heck. That's enough to give a man a heart attack. Organically brewed with no artificial preservatives, flavourings or colourings. Best served chilled, unfiltered, naturally hazy. Ingredients, the prices cover in the ingredients. So let's get rid of that. Uh, doesn't say what hops they are, just says they're organic. Um, what's better than brewing? Brewing with friends, yes I agree. Stroud Brewery have teamed up with Anter Brew to bring this beautiful Hell's Bock to life. It's a paler and a hop forward version of the strong darker box style. Right, okay. Matured over three months during the winter, this perfectly conditioned beer will warm you with every sip. Deliciously Moorish thanks to its lovely malt character and delicate orange flavour. Ready to be enjoyed on a day out in the Brecon Beacons. A walk through the five valleys or shed with loved ones wherever you might be. Uh, well, it's not a day to be out in the Brecon Beacons, I'll tell you today. <coughs> um, it's not even a day out. It's... Uh, I'm not going to Five Valleys, and uh, but I am with loved ones, so that works for me. So this is a buck, right? What is it? How many? How many revs per minute does it do? Six, six percent ABV. So it's um, packs a punch. Did I say that it was that stuck to me as four ninety nine? That's why Yorkshireman. Have big ears and bald heads. How much? Oh. We dab with the Yorkshire. Oh, piggy neck. That's gone all over. Blimey. It has. Oh, it's gone on the carpet. Oh dear. Spillage. I suppose I was shaking it about a bit, wasn't I? Anyway, it's a blooper. <sighs> that was explosive, that was. Can's all wet now. Anyway, there we are. Top of the box. And, um, do you know, despite the spillage... I'm gonna to have to put my motorhead thing in the in the um, in the wash now, I think, and do the carpet again. <sighs> right. Despite the spillage, shall I say? Let's wipe the glass again. It's um, it doesn't look like it's unfiltered. It doesn't at all. That looks as clear as anything. That does. 
So I don't know where they get that from. Maybe, maybe all the filtering is on the floor down here. Oh, I don't know. You get them, don't you? Mm. That smells like lemonade. Mm. Anyway, here's to all the spillages and all the bloopers that you get in your videos. We all have them. We all get them. And don't they make us chuckle? Cheers, everybody. Well, it's it's a funny. It's got that kind of lagerish, yeasty, malty taste that I'm not over keen on. But having said that, it's it's in the background. It's very subdued. What's coming forward is a fairly clean, fresh. Now I'm not getting oranges. I'm getting lemon from that. I'm getting a lemony flavour. Very, very slightly lemony. So uh, let me just put this. Um, fresh, fresh, zesty lemon. There is still that mulching, that sort of, I call it a um, musty. A musty kind of flavour, but it's 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 still there. It's in the background. It doesn't. It kind of takes away the taste of the beer, but for me anyway. But then hopefully most of the mustiness is on the floor. Let's get the carpet cleaner out next week. Well, having said that, it's not bad. It's not bad. I wouldn't chuck it away. It's a def. It's a drink. It. It's not a sink. It. I wouldn't chuck it away. But there you go. Anter Brewery, it's a local brewery to us, with Stroud Brewery, who's way down south. Uh, how they got together, I don't know, but um, it'd be interesting if they come up with any more beers like this. Because if this, I think this is a, <coughs> Berkshire Bird does the job. I'm not over keen on lagers and box and, and hells and stuff like that. But if I enjoy it, what's the bitters and the miles and the porters going to be like? See the way I'm thinking. Anyway, I shall go and enjoy this now. I shall clean up and uh, oh, I'll see you all very soon.